Habituation is a psychological process in which an individual shows a decrease in response to a stimulus after being repeatedly exposed to it. This decrease in response is due to the individual's familiarity with the stimulus, leading to a reduction in the psychological impact of that stimulus. The term habituation has its origins in the early studies of animal behavior and was first extensively studied by the psychologist Ivan Pavlov, known for his work on classical conditioning. Habituation is considered one of the simplest forms of learning and is a fundamental adaptive behavior that allows organisms to ignore irrelevant stimuli and focus on important ones. There are three main steps involved in habituation. The first step is the repeated exposure to a stimulus. This involves presenting the stimulus to the individual multiple times in a controlled manner. The second step is the observation of a decreased response. As the individual is repeatedly exposed to the stimulus, their response to it gradually diminishes. This decrease in response can be measured through various physiological and behavioral indicators. The third step is the stabilization of the response. After a certain number of exposures, the individual's response to the stimulus reaches a stable, lower level, indicating that habituation has occurred. This stable response shows that the stimulus no longer has the same impact as it did initially. Here are two examples of habituation. First, imagine someone living near a train track. Initially, the noise from the passing trains is very disruptive and startling. However, over time, the person becomes accustomed to the sound, and their response to the noise diminishes until they barely notice it anymore. Second, consider a person who initially finds the smell of a particular perfume overwhelming. After being around that perfume frequently, their sensitivity to the smell decreases, and they no longer find it as strong or bothersome. Let's look at three benefits of habituation. First, habituation helps individuals and animals conserve energy and attention by allowing them to ignore repetitive and irrelevant stimuli. Second, it aids in focusing attention on novel and potentially important stimuli, enhancing survival and adaptation. Third, habituation can reduce stress and anxiety associated with repeated exposure to certain stimuli, promoting better mental well-being. Now let's explore three criticisms of habituation. First, habituation may lead to the neglect of important stimuli that could become relevant in changing environments, posing potential risks. Second, the process might take a long time, requiring numerous exposures to achieve a significant decrease in response, which can be impractical in certain situations. Third, habituation might not occur uniformly for all types of stimuli with some stimuli remaining consistently bothersome despite repeated exposure. To learn about other common concepts in psychology, check out the videos on the screen or the links in the pinned comment.